Hi, I'm John Boyega, and this is the Wired Autocomplete interview. How these people are really Googling out here. What is John Boyega, do I reveal, known for? I feel like I'm known for Attack the Block to some people and Star Wars to most, because I've done a little, a little film called Star Wars. It was an indie, low budget, not, not, not a lot of funding. And yeah, but a lot of people know it for some reason. So I, I say Star Wars. What is John Boyega doing now? Well, right now I'm doing press for three movies. Breaking, The Woman King, and They Clone Tyrone. But in my free time, I'm going on dates, I'm going go-karting, spending time with friends, and going to parties. Uh, what is John Boyega's next movie? I actually don't know. I'm kind of waiting for these three to come out so someone can see it and then give me a job next year. Honestly, that's just how it works, guys. You just got to do projects, everyone sees it, and then the next year. But the savings are correct. I've got enough in the savings. John Boyega, what's in the box? Oh! <laughs> All right, we need to do a part two to this. Me and Gwen, right? I think that's what everyone's referring to, yeah. Me and Gwen done this silly, you know, silly show called What's in the Box, where we had to basically put our hands in a box and feel lizards, spiders, and all different types of critters. Good times. I miss you, Gwen. What school did John Boyega go to? I went to an amazing school called Westminster City for boys. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like Second, well, we call it secondary school, you lot call it high school. I didn't, in, I didn't enjoy it. I didn't enjoy it. I enjoyed college, I enjoyed university, and I enjoyed primary school prior to that. But high school for me was like, I have no money. I, I couldn't afford the sneakers that everybody had. I didn't have the, you know, the clothes to fit in and stuff. So I was just like, ah. But then it got to college. College is when I, I sprouted. <laughs> Does John Boyega, oh, I'm getting worried now. Does John Boyega have tattoos? Yeah, I do. I didn't show him much. I've had tattoos for a long time. People, I just, yeah, I, I just wasn't showing them a lot. So whenever people see my arms, they're like, oh. But yeah, I have, I have a few tattoos, yeah. This is um, a tattoo that I got um, in representation of my sisters, my two older siblings, Blessing and Grace, and then my love for wolves and horse riding. The synergy in family is so important to me and wolves naturally have that synergy in family. Obviously they roll in packs, but the love between them. My siblings, Blessing, Grace and John, are represented by three cubs with one wolf with their breath going into a horse. I design all my, my tattoos. I sketch and, and draw and give it, give it to the artist. So it's just something like a binding tattoo to remind me of the love between me, Blessing, you know, and Grace, my two, my two older sisters who I love dearly. I love you And when you lot getting yours, because I'm sick and tired of being the only one. Does John Boyega have an Oscar? I do. I have an Oscar Isaac. What's the most meaningful recognition you have received? The most meaningful so far is my statue at Madame Two Souls. That is, is, is cool. And I've been seeing some pictures people uploading, going to see this, uh, the wax figure. That's been real cool. Does John Boyega watch anime? Yeah, I do. I watch Attack on Titan, I watch Naruto, I watch uh, One Piece, uh, I'm on Demon Slayer right now, which, is, which I'm enjoying. I definitely think the style of storytelling for anime is, is something that other genres can't particularly um, capture, but I think that's what anime is for, you know. I think anime also, the story, the story, sometimes a lot of these stories last over 10 years. Like you're, you're with one character for a long amount of time. Apart from TV, it's very hard to see that kind of content out there too. But also it's the seriousness and depth in anime. It's 2D, but you have emotions for the characters as if they actually, uh, they have oxygen and blood running through their veins. So it's, 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 it's a unique style of storytelling that I really, really love. And a lot of people do too. Does John Boyega work out? At the moment, no. No, I want his belly to hang off a little bit. I realized, soft and muscular. A little bit of dad bod, a little bit of lean. And that's what I'm on right now. And then when I get a role that requires me to be like Spider-Man, you know, get that Tom Holland body going on, then I'll change. But right now I'm on a break. Did I read that you had some unusual Dumbbells, chicken drumsticks, the plates, call them pizza stacks. You know, it's pe you know when you see a pizza stacked on top of each other. I recognize that if I go to the gym, calories has to be a part of my workout in some way because I really like eating and I sometimes hate dieting. So I just call the equipment that's meant to make me look good, food that I like. So pizza and drumsticks and uh, the barbells I call lollipop, because you know, you know what I mean. But that's just me guys, I'm weird like that. 
All right. All right, this is what people are Googling. Who John Boyega? What, people just don't fill out the, the words. Who is John Boyega? Why, why did the person Google this? They, what, they had seen me and then was like, oh, who is, that? oh yeah, yeah, they probably saw me in the trailer and said, who is that? Well, hi guys, I'm John, I'm an actor, I'm a producer, and I'm just a young 30 year old man. Who does John Boyega play in Star Wars? I will act as if I'm not slightly offended by that question, but I play a guy called Finn, FN2187, who's a stormtrooper turned rebel. If you haven't watched it now, bloody hell. I think um, people underappreciated his lineup in episode nine. If you recognize episode seven and eight, Finn's hair, he ain't had no lineup. Nine, I got that sorted for you guys, and then no one gave the character props for that. So I, I, have, I have a problem. They didn't appreciate his hairstyle. Who does John Boyega support? <sighs> Mum, dad. Wait, wait, is this financial support or is this just moral in that? <laughs> <laughs> I support a whole bunch of people. I uh, support some young people through via Converse and my filmmaking scheme. I support some young people at Damilo the Taylor Centre down in the UK. Done a few, you know, charities and stuff. And then I financially support mum and dad. Mum, dad, just send me the email when you want me to, you know, buy you something. Who is John Boyega dating? I'm going on a few dates, actually. I've actually, I have time to actually go out on dates and go on dinners. Went to one yesterday, nailed it. Let's see if I get a, you know, a second one, see how she feels. So I'm gonna, I'll let you guys know in the next, you know, next interview. But she was, she was fine. I, what I like about being single is that you're given the time to do the, the work, the individual work, to you know, work on yourself, get your, yourself in order, get your mind right. You have the, you know, the freedom to do for self, which I think is important. All right, is John Boyega, is John Boyega in Kenobi? No, definitely not in Kenobi because Finn is not alive in terms of the uh, the canon and the timeline. I love it. I love Obi Wan. I've been loving it. I've been having fun with that. I think it's cool. I like the fact that Hayden is back, which is fun to see my guy Anakin. You know, Anakin's one of my faves. So I'm enjoying it. Is John Boyega Nigerian? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Can you not see the back of my head, the shape of my head? You can all tell when it's, when we when you got a Nigerian brother. I'm definitely Nigerian. I actually, have dual citizenship. So I have a passport in the UK and I have a passport in Nigeria since birth. So yeah, I'm a fully Nigerian, yeah. Is John Boyega still acting? Who the hell put this in? Absolutely. A lot of people do ask me that though, and I understand because it takes us a long time to film the projects. But just remember guys, before we bring out the projects, I have to film them. So it took me two years to film these three projects that come out this year. So yeah, it, it takes a long time, but yeah, I am. I am still acting, thank you for asking. Is John Boyega nice? Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, nice. Can't be starting no problems, you know. If you start a problem with me, however. But, in general, I'm nice, yeah, I'm cool. Welcome. How, John Boyega? How to pronounce John Boyega? John Boyega. Bodega, but then just add that Y for everyone in New York. How old is John Boyega? I just turned the big 3-0. Oh, but obviously, fanboy, no pimple, young face, and then you can look like you're still in your 20s, like me. I think in my 30s, uh, well, I'm saying in my 30s, like, I, like I've like i been here for a minute, but in terms of just getting here, and the information I've been hearing from a lot of other 30-year-olds that I've been kind of like listening to, you do things more, more on purpose. You, know, you have uh, much more of an int intuition about what you want, and, and I'm, I'm looking forward to that more and more. How did John Boyega become an actor. From primary school, I did performing arts stuff and I wasn't good at much else. I tried football. It was all social circles. I tried to get into the football group, couldn't do that. I tried to be a part of the uh, highly academic group, you know, the A-star students, couldn't do that. Tried to be part of the nerds, got too bored, couldn't do that. Then I saw all the performing arts people doing contemporary dance and tap and they accepted me and I said, oh, I'm a theater kid. So I joined that group. And then from there, I got a, a cool opportunity with a scholarship to Theater Peckham. So I'm quite lucky I was helped. Did I read that your first role was like through the leopard? First of all, I don't like the way you asked that question. As if that isn't one of my, you know, most known roles. This is uh, obviously I'm very famous for my first role, my starring role actually as the leopard in the Anansi Spider-Man stories, which is based off of the old folktale Jamaican books. I played the leopard, which is a, uh, you guys want to see this? His turn in this is, is ridiculous. It's I would say better than anything I've done before, and that Star Wars included all of them, you know. My first gig. 
How tall is John Boyega? Always wanted to answer this. Guys, it is 5'10", I reached the average. All these 5'7s, 5'6s and 8s that I've been hearing about is not true. 5'10", I reached the average. And if I straighten up my back, I can even get more. Apart from that, I'm a, I'm, I feel like I'm a good person. So hopefully uh, my height doesn't uh, stifle anything. <laughs> All right, that's it guys. Obviously, I'm so shocked to, to hear that you guys are so intrigued by me and I'm thankful for your continuous support. Anyway, next time, Wired.